Infection by the black fungus has become a big cause of concern in the current era. It's important for us to understand that what we call black fungus is caused by a fungus known as mucormycosis. It was very occasionally seen in patients whose immunity was low, for example, diabetics with poor control, those who were on chemotherapy because of cancers, or those who were post-transplant patients. In them, one was seeing occasionally both in the sinuses and in the lungs. Now, this fungus is seen in the environment, it's seen in the soil, and it can be present in healthy people normally at times uh, in their nose uh, for some time. But the body's immune system is strong enough to prevent the infection from happening and therefore nothing happens to these people even if they uh, inhale the fungal spores. The disease is much easier to control and treat if patients present to us early. Early symptoms are nasal discharge, which can at times be blood stained, nasal blockage, pain and numbness in and around the areas of nose and face. Sometimes the patient can have persistent headache and can also present with loosening or pain around tooth region. Swelling and redness of eyeball, protrusion of eyeball and blindness indicate that disease has spread to eye. If the disease goes beyond eye and sinuses into the brain, then that is usually a late presentation and patient can have seizures or loss of consciousness. And this is predominantly because of three main factors. One is the infection itself. COVID is a viral infection, but it affects our immune system in a way that it predisposes us to getting the fungal infection. Secondly, is underlying diabetes. And if you have diabetes which is with poor control, the sugars are high, then that also serves as a medium for the fungus to grow. The third important factor is the use of steroids. Steroids are very useful in moderate to severe COVID. What do steroids do? Two things. One is, in a diabetic, use of steroids will lead to blood sugars going up. Secondly, steroids will also affect the immune system and that indirectly will also lead to higher chance of mucormycosis. So the combination of COVID-19 infection, diabetes and use of steroids, all of this has led to a higher number of cases of mucormycosis being seen and therefore it's very important for us to work uh, in terms of limiting the use of steroids, only using them when they're needed and those who have underlying diabetes to understand the responsibility and make sure that they have a good control of the sugars so that they are not predisposed to fungal infection if they get COVID infection. If you are concerned, see a doctor, preferably an ENT doctor who can look inside the nose and confirm if there is such a problem. If you take all these precautions, in general, you should not get the infection. And even if you do get the infection, if treated early, we can control it very well. Uh, it's important that we take this uh, message seriously so that we work aggressively to prevent the increasing number of cases of mucormycosis that we are currently seeing with the second wave. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.